in a country that's been under military rule for roughly half its existence as an independent nation, a former military ruler going to court to be indicted for treason. Hundreds of security officials on the route from an army-run hospital to the special court handling the treason charges which carry a maximum penalty of death. Pervez Musharraf has been absent from many other hearings because of security threats and ill health. Inaction at this moment is suicide for Pakistan and I cannot allow this country to commit suicide. Then President Musharraf on national television seven years ago justifying his move in suspending Pakistan's constitution and declaring a state of emergency. He's now charged with doing so unlawfully. Outside the court, one of his lawyers, Ahmed Raza Khazuri, said, how can a military general who's been army chief be a traitor? And if he is called a traitor, what impression will that have on the armed forces of Pakistan? How strong will their reaction be? Pervez Musharraf had returned to Pakistan a year ago, hoping to participate in politics again, but he was barred from running in last year's elections and ran into a barrage of legal cases. Pleading not guilty to these latest charges, he asked whether this was the way to reward someone for being loyal to Pakistan and for loving the country. He'd served the army for 45 years and fought two wars. For me, he said, traitors are those who loot public money and empty the treasury. Mike Aldridge, BBC News.